Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Camilla Cabello and her three kings. Now we had this a while back and we've had someone that's requested another reading about how this turns out for her. So let's get into this. And some people are having trouble following the readings so I'm not going to be clarifying as much. So we'll see how that works for us. So we have heartbreak here on the king of coins so I have all three of my kings here and uh, we're going to find out we have the king of coins the king of swords and the king of wands I believe those were the ones that she had that came up so under the king of coins we have the broken heart here yeah, somebody might want to come running back in and uh, stand up for this relationship or defend it. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, there's lots of options here. And somebody may not have, um, may not be wanting to stand up for what they believe in or are kind of, I want to say, maybe not trusting self okay um yeah maybe there's some work that needs to be done here what's the king of swords mm. somebody that doesn't want to wait for something maybe being impatient I want the temperance that is sagittarius that is adventure and there might be some type of conflict or some type of impatience here when it comes to this king of swords so we have the king of wands mm, somebody walked away from that so let's get back into the king of swords let's see mm, may want to come back and give an offer so what else for the king of swords mm, yeah they're not satisfied about something they're not content Maybe not fulfilled with somebody or something here. What else for the King of Swords? Mm. Queen of Wands is in reverse here. So this may be somebody they are with right now um, that they are realizing they're not satisfied being with and maybe want to come back in and um, offer Camilla something here. So we have two out of the three that want to come back in, but let's get into the King of Wands again. So somebody's walked away here. Yeah, but they didn't want something to end, okay? With the death card in reverse. So that's Scorpio, that's secrets. That's kind of that secretive kind of type of energy, you know? So, um, yeah, I kind of feel like there was something that was as a change that was unwanted okay that didn't they didn't want that change yeah something didn't work out here with the eight of pentacles in reverse maybe didn't give put the best foot forward i want to say or their best work um that they could have when it came to this relationship with her oh okay we have waiting for their ships to come in so maybe waiting for another opportunity with camilla maybe there has to be some healing or something going on here haha -ha, look who showed up here it's the empress camilla is here so <laughs> that's i love that <laughs> how she showed up in her own reading all right so i do want to get some love cards regarding these four or three <laughs> so why is the broken heart here well we know they probably broke up but yeah there may have been some gaslighting there some type of perception towards her watching her watching her now i feel like um but on the down low with the sunglasses on right so i kind of feel like they want to bolt back in although they might be confused about something here mm, receiving what you want progress arriving moving on and closure issues so they may need to close up some issues or maybe have a little talk about something that went through or what happened i feel like this is going to help this king of coins move on 
So why is there confusion or is this a lot of options here? So let's see what comes up for the king of coins, please. Ooh, we got a twofer. <laughs> All right. So somebody may have sabotaged this. Um, yeah, they may have been um, not trusting uh, so much, maybe interrogated her or she interrogated them or they're working on something anyways when it comes to maybe other options that show up. Um, don't get it wrong out there ladies uh, a lot of ladies will go and go after your man and it's up to your man to turn those options down and if they don't that's on them okay camera reminiscing keepsakes learning from the past so whatever was talked about maybe there is some type of I want to say things turned out here in this where they feel at peace with it however it went down they keep reminiscing about her though so and maybe their perception has changed what about the king of swords the temperance in reverse here so maybe this king of swords maybe he's aquarius gemini or libra maybe he is with the temperance could be having sag in there We've got earth signs here, we got fire here, and we have cups, so we have all the signs, so it could be a combination of both charts with the empress. What is the temperance in reverse? Are you going to give me a card? <laughs> Spirit, what is the temperance in reverse here for the king of swords and Camilla? Oh, finally. Ah, somebody's transcending obstacles, learning expansion new phase preparing for a union so there is this offer here with the ace of pentacles here I don't know if you guess yeah you can probably see that all right and um yeah i feel like somebody's ascending here when it comes to this offer so what's this ace of pentacles here can you tell us what the ace of pentacles is what offer are we doing here is this to the Queen of Wands, is that Camilla or is that someone else, I wonder? What's this Ace of Pentacles? Ah, uh, somebody's healing and that may be why they're ascending here. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. And wanting to have some type of clear path to come in to give this offer to Camilla and build something with her, maybe work with her or just as an offer to come together as a couple. What are they not satisfied? What what happened here with the they're not they're not feeling it, okay, with somebody else here if this is someone else with this Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm. Yeah, they're not satisfied here because I feel like they're <laughs> soulmates. Camilla and um this king of swords i feel like they may have an agreement or soul contract or soul connection here and knows that this queen of wands in reverse maybe is not his soulmate could be something he's learning from this queen of wands with as a karmic and a karmic is only somebody that you're going to learn something from that doesn't make them the bad person okay you may have lessons that you're not crazy about having to learn and maybe they hurt you but that doesn't mean that the karmic's a bad person it just means you're going to learn something from this person it could be your self-worth that you're learning it could be oh, putting up boundaries it could be a lot of things maybe um you don't realize about yourself that how you come off to other people so it looks like whoever this queen of wands is and Queen of Wands, <laughs> when she's in the reverse, man, she can be kind of, um, I want to say, have a temper and can be very revengeful. So what is this Queen of Wands? Why is she here? What is this? If you like the readings that I'm doing now, um, please give me that thumbs up and uh, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>
that really does help the channel. So, oh, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light about this Queen of Wands. Maybe there was some plot of revenge on this King of Swords. Maybe she knew how he truly felt about Camilla. Huh. Okay. So let's move on to the King of Wands and see somebody walked away. Somebody didn't want it to end. Something didn't work out, but they're waiting. They're being patient here, maybe working on themselves as well. What is this? Oh, thank you. This swords. Um, Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So maybe this person, because he is the king of wands, he's a very good looking person. And I mean, not to mention just the looks. I mean, people sometimes get hung up on that. And really, if you strip everybody down to just pure energy, no gender, just the energy, their soul, okay, and you erase everything else, and you just see their energy, who they truly are inside, people can be very beautiful. And the people get really hung up on the exterior of things. And it's about how you want to be treated. Do you want to be treated like shit because the guy is looking good? Or do you want to have somebody that's going to treat you right no matter how they look, right? So we have somebody that may be a little selfish here, maybe didn't put a lot into the relationship with Camilla. Let's see, what is the death in reverse here? Yeah, that may have fear, maybe, ooh. <laughs> maybe it was very caught up on, maybe they were just too young at the time. But with the death in reverse, this person had a bit of fear and I can see now why, because he was very serious about her. Um, with the ring here, he wanted to put a ring on it and maybe she just wasn't ready for that. Who knows? Between the two, they're about the only ones that really truly know. And I feel like really wanted, um, uh, there was a lot of electricity here between the two of them. So I feel like this engagement ring may have fear. There may have been fear here on her side, or it could have been his side because it was only one-sided here, okay? And maybe he felt more for her than she did or they didn't realize how much they meant to each other until they're gone, right? Isn't that funny how that works? Anyways, something didn't work out. Somebody didn't put their best foot forward or wasn't taking the relationship as serious as the other. Yeah, something didn't work out. There was an ending here. Bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So that doesn't mean that it won't have a new beginning later on, which I kind of feel like maybe he, he's waiting for that. Maybe just letting her grow and mature and grow up and maybe they're growing and maturing and growing up depending on how old the two of them are um let's see what's this three of wands here this is waiting for your ships to come in let's see there's three ships out there so maybe he's got options maybe he's got people helping him Ooh. okay that's way too many, and I'm not taking a big story like that. So, <laughs> let's get one card, please, Spirit, for the Three of Wands. For the Three of Wands, Spirit. All right, yeah, okay, ouch. Um, Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow, transform your life. So, this King of Wands might be out with the coffin and the Grim Reaper here. And this may change, I feel, in the future, just because he's going to wait to see. And maybe there was a lot of hurt here. That's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Making healthy choices and love and life, self-love. And I feel like maybe she found her own self-worth out of this. And possibly this person did, too. And maybe it needed to be something that was, let's say no coming back from 
in order for this to be learned, okay? But it's funny how things change in the f later on in life. So somebody needed some self-love and I felt that and that's what came up here with the healthy choices, okay? So, and I feel like that is with her because that was the challenge for her and she's the one that came up as the Empress here. Now, the Ascending Healing Hearts, Soulmates, and Dragonfly here, and guess who comes up behind them? <laughs> it's going to be a tough choice. There might be something coming to light or she really feels happy with these two options, okay? So even though the King of Wands here is no second chances and it's over and grow transform your life and the relationship is over, that I still feel that these two really make her happy and there's going to be a choice here who can heal and ascend the quickest <laughs> and find their way back to her before she is taken off the market for good, right? So... Isn't that beautiful? So she's got two that she's going to choose from. It looks like the King of Coins may be out of this. I really thought it might be this King of Wands, but it's funny how I felt that that just because it says it here didn't mean that that's not going to change in the future because energies change with each decision we make, right? It's going to take us in a different direction with every choice we make. Okay, so... It's funny I felt that, and then these two are here with the sun, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, it looks like this King of Swords may be her first choice, though, so we'll have to see what happens here. And this King of Swords, he's very smart. He's analytical, right? So he's, he's mind over heart, okay? He's very smart. I feel like he's got a lot of clarity. He's ascending. So he's kind of um, knows what he needs to do in order to come forward to her properly, right? And deal with all the demons from within. Uh, anything that's happened up until this point in his life, he's realizing he has to go in and do that and realize how to get over those things that may be triggering his behavior in some way. So... Wow, I really like this. Let's get the Romance Angels, because I really like the Romance Angels for this. What else do we got? Uh, I want to do too much, because I don't want anybody getting confused. And let's see. Let's get one card for each person. King of Coins, please. One card, please, Spirit. One card for the King of Coins. King of Coins. Mm. There may have been a lot of chemistry between these two. Um, a, st a strong magnetic attraction. But, let's see. What's this King of Swords? Love yourself first. So, And that's exactly what he's doing. He is healing his heart. And he's finding his self-respect. Um, which makes him much more romantically attractive, okay? What about this King of Wands? Let's see what the... Ink oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, and religious and um, spiritual factors here. So, maybe the love life is influenced by a certain upbringing. And somebody may be more spiritual than they are... Uh, religious or that could be an issue between the two but trust here is calling you to have faith so somebody's definitely learned their self-respect or their self-love here which is this king of swords there may have been a lot of chemistry with this king of coins but because he didn't show up after her um, I kind of feel that he may be out of this running and with these two here, I'm really liking this. So let's get a couple more cards here and see who's going to come out on top. If it will tell us. 
So what about this King of Swords? Wow, I didn't even get that out and it was coming up. Ooh, storm warning. Oh, uh, something ending here for this Queen of Wands in reverse. So I feel like with the 10 card, number 10 being there, that is definitely saying that this relationship that this King of Swords is already in. Uh, maybe he's learned a lesson about loving himself first. And I feel like there's an ending there. Number 10 is completion, right? So it's an end of a cycle here for them. And then journey number two, which happens to be balanced partnerships and duality. So, wow. So there's definitely going to be something going on here for this King of Swords here. So I feel like he's going to begin his journey back to her. Um, or he's just going to be, he's going to find a journey. But with him showing up after her, I feel like he's... He's going to pursue her. What about this King of Wands? Can you give me, well, give me two cards, I guess. I didn't even do two cards for this Pentacles because he's not in this running anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I can't make this shit up, okay? The things I was feeling for this King of Wands coming in here, really wanting to put a ring on it, okay? And then this is totally over. Coffin and the Grim Reaper. But look what's showing up here. Doors from romance. Okay. So, and trust. And that's, that's master number here. 33. So, I feel like this is not over for this King of Wands. As much as somebody might be stubborn right now. Saying, it's over. It's over. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. <laughs> The door to romance is here, so, and trust and have faith. I feel like they're going to figure this out. So, let's see. I need one more card here for the King of Wands, please. For the King of Wands. And Camilla. King of Wands, please. A card for the King of Wands don't really want to tell me, do they? <laughs> Not going to do it. Give me a card, please, Spirit, for the King of Wands, please. Wow. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, <laughs> that's not the card I was thinking I was going to see. Deceit. So it makes me wonder if somebody is here within something here that's going to <laughs> oh no way okay with this king of coins coming in here I kind of feel like he's gonna come back in here with this sword to fight for something here and sabotage is here with the hammer so I thought maybe he was trying to confuse somebody here with her but this might be sabotage because there's chemistry between these two between uh, Camilla and this king of coins but now I'm kind of feeling like this might be why the deceit card is here for the king of wands somebody's going to sabotage something here maybe it's the chemistry between this king of wands and Camilla but number seven there is reflection, assessment, knowledge, and spirituality. So somebody I feel is maybe waking up to some type of deceit here that possibly somebody was in Camilla's ear or one of her friend's ears to try to sabotage this connection between this King of Wands and Camilla. Now, we did see the King of Swords and the King of Wands that end up coming through on this and not the king of coins so I feel like this deceit card here is going to tell us a little bit about that king of coins right oh <laughs> whoever comes through for her between these two between this king of swords and the king of wands it is a man holding a heart so he truly does love her so whoever's going to put in this work I feel is definitely going to have that fulfillment, attainment, and fruition. 
And number nine is all those things. So <laughs> she will be loved well, no matter who comes through for her. And I love this door to romance and the journey for the king of swords and the door to romance for the king of wands. So I'm really feeling like despite this deceit that's here, I kind of feel like it might have been this king of coins that brought that on for them. Okay. So, wow, uh -oh. I'm liking this reading. So, oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's get some love cards here. Where did I put those? Ah, there they are. Let's see what we get for this. For the King of Swords, please. King of Swords? Oh, Spirit doesn't want to tell me much about this. The King of Swords, please. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you. And we have rest and relaxation is essential. We all have fundamental need to take a break. And I feel like that is healing his heart, being in solitude. So having taken that break and actually having some reflection. And it's funny that it's number... What number is that? Wow, they're so tiny here. Uh, six. No, 12. So that's going to be number three. So groups, um, growth. So there's growth here. And I feel like it had something to do with this Queen of Wands in reverse that this person was with and realizes that this is not their wish fulfillment, no matter how beautiful they are. And of course, when they are in the reverse, they're not very beautiful at all, especially if they're revengeful. So let's see. What's this King of Wands here? Give me a card for that. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got a two first. So I want to get one more card for the King of Swords, please. Okay, thank you. Let's see what this is for the King of Swords. Simply... Uh, oh, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you to bring happiness to those around you. And I feel like this person for the King of Swords, he's very smart, but I feel even though he's not in touch a lot with his emotions, I feel like he's very kind and kind hearted. So, and this is number five. He's starting to change things here for himself to be able to come forward for her. So let's see here, what did the King of Wands get for two cards? Um, have patience, and I felt that with that Three of Wands there, waiting for ships to come in. Love is patient and kind always. So there you go, number eight. And I feel like that is resolution, mastery, and reflection. And it's funny that it's mastery with the eight of maybe he's going to master how he comes in for things to work okay because I don't feel like he put much work into this like he maybe should have let's see the only thing that is real is love oh my god shift your focus back to love so there you go I feel like maybe there was some deceit behind some of these things that he maybe was upset about and realizes now that love is the highest frequency you can have and it has number seven here which is that reflection assessment knowledge and spirituality so maybe somebody's maybe changing how they feel about spirituality which is awesome because um it, all of that is is your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and spirit that want to help you live your best life by giving you signs, synchronicities, and try to get your attention to try to get you to work on yourself to be a better person and to, to actually get that peace, you know, um, no more anxiety, no more feeling less than or having people make you doubt yourself possibly like are you sure that's what you want to do and make you doubt yourself like 
I don't know. I thought I did, you know. Um, let me maybe rethink this now. Now I'm not so sure, you know. And it's funny how, depending on who it is that's saying this to you, can really impact who you, who and how you make your decisions. So make sure that you trust self on your own decisions on because it's your life not anyone else's right and I'm really liking this for Camilla because I feel like people are having a realization about their own self-worth about how they treat people and how how they can become better people right so and embracing spirituality I mean hey f spirituality is the new sexy right I mean, if you're not spiritual and thinking along those lines, a lot of women do. And and you know what? I'm so happy to see that. Really am. That people are embracing that self-love and their self-care and realizing their self-worth and having some self-respect. So, and I feel like Camilla has all that. I feel like she is spiritual to begin with and... I feel like she already knows her worth, okay? So there are always things, she's not perfect, nobody ever is, I mean, we're always learning, we're always evolving, and we're always taking on knowledge, things that we didn't know about ourself, and that's what it ends up being, is about self, right? So you can't love anyone else if you don't love yourself first, right? So. All those things that you need to work on, maybe it's time to really ask for forgiveness and really be remorseful about it and cry out whatever you need to if that's how you need to do it. And you're going to be surprised on how much better you feel about yourself and how moving forward is going to impact your life. So anyways i'm gonna end it there i want to see what's on the bottom of the deck for these three spend quality time together listen and talk with each other so and that is number 10 so i feel like that's going to help complete some cycles here or have some type of renewal because after completion of a cycle there is always a new beginning and it can be a renewal and there is love here so yeah i'm really happy about this for camilla these two are in the running and i really like that for her so all right guys if you like the reading give me that thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe become a divine oracle and you can Put in for the three free readings that I'm doing, one for each of the months that I didn't get a chance to do it because November, December, and January were pretty busy for me. So, um, and then lately I've been sick, so, <laughs> and I'm feeling better. Yes, thank you for all of the um, get well soons and the love everybody is showing for me. I appreciate that. I am feeling better. Although I can still feel it in my throat, I'm, things are getting better. So thank you all for that. And thank you, thank you for all the donations. And I guess I'm going to have to take a trip up to the mailbox <laughs> and see if my cards are there. Because <laughs> I did order new cards for everybody for new ways of talking about some of the things that you get to see in the cards that helps with the readings so all right guys i've rambled on enough <laughs> all right stay blessed take care all right love y'all later